Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the 17 random questions video. I've been tagged by the gorgeous Mumology, so thanks for that. Without further ado, let's get going. Number one, how did you get your YouTube channel name? Um, well, I speak Spanish and Mama is Spanish for mum. I used to live in South America and they put loads of inas and eaters and all of that on the end of things to make them sound sort of cute and I just thought Mama Lina had a nice little ring to it, I guess. The annoying thing about it is that people often don't know how to spell it. M-A-M-A-L-A-M. -A -A -A. Number two, if you could change your name to anything, what would you change it to? Um, I quite like the name Emma. Um, I've got a couple of other names that I like, but um, I might not say them right now, just in case I have to use them again another day, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I quite like Emma, and my middle name is Antonia, um, which actually, again, has a bit of a Spanish-y feel to it, even though I'm not Spanish at all. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of other names, but I'm gonna keep them under wraps, actually. Number three, if you could go back and give your younger self some advice, what would it be? It would definitely be to remember that everything is always changing, and although you might feel one way at some point, probably like the next day, you'll feel differently. Definitely the next month, you'll feel differently. Definitely the next year, you'll feel differently. So. So it's always try and think a bit ahead and know that things change and don't always stay the same. And yeah, just kind of be wise to that fact. Number four, I love this question. Um, how old were you when you learned how to do bubbles with bubble gum? Um, I used to do this a lot. I was quite a like cheeky little girl. And um, I used to love blowing bubbles with bubble gum. I used to do it on the bus all the time. I remember, what was it, Hubba Bubba was the best. Like that was the one that you got for blowing bubbles. Um, it was like this pink, hideous stuff. I'm sure full of like E colours and just the worst things. But yeah, that was the best bubble gum one. So I don't know, it was probably like eight. Number five, what did you want to be when you were little? I wanted to be a dancer, so I took ballet classes from when I was like three. I was literally tiny, and my mum sent me to ballet classes, and it was the best thing. I'm so grateful she did, because I then went on to dance for years and years, but it definitely made me want to become a dancer. Number six, what do you order at Starbucks? Always the same, always a black Americano. No milk, just a simple old black Americano. I love that. What really annoys me about Starbucks is the weird terminology they use for small, medium and large, like vente, I don't even know, grande, and I was like, can I have a small please? And they're like, vente, and I'm like, a small please? Um, it really annoys me, it's like they try and disguise their sizes so that you get extra big ones and then just spend loads. Number seven, what's the hardest you've ever laughed? Um, I actually cried from laughing so much last night. Sam and I watched this film, Bad Neighbours. If you haven't seen the film already and you're a new parent, check it out. It is very, very funny. Like, literally we were watching it and cringing and l crying with laughter because it was just like, oh my gosh, that is us. Number eight, if you could play any musical instrument, what would it be? Definitely the guitar. I think it'd be really cool to play the guitar properly. I used to play a bit, but I haven't played for years and I just think it's one of those instruments that's so beautiful and I'd love to be able to properly play and write songs and yeah, the guitar. Number nine, what's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? So the thing that I always wanna do is like go and bury my head in my bed and cry and eat chocolate. The thing that I know I always should do and try to do is just go for a walk. I always find that if you go for a walk and get some fresh air, it just changes your perspective and some oxygen going on around your head. Um, it just always massively helps things. So that's what I try and do whenever I get a bit upset. Number 10, what's your favorite movie? Um, probably Forrest Gump. It's such a feel good, wonderful film. Number 11, what's one food you can't live without? I'd probably have to say bread, especially since becoming a mum because I basically eat toast for most of my meals just because it's the easiest thing. Cheese on toast, peanut butter on toast, jam on toast, marmite on toast. Number 12, what's your favorite dessert? I love tiramisu, amazing, mmm, and chocolate ice cream. I basically love anything chocolate, but particularly chocolate ice cream. But only if it's really hard. I hate it if ice cream gets soft. I'm just like, ugh. Number 13, favorite pizza topping. This would probably have to be ham, um, mushroom, and olives. I think that's like Lorraine. That or just plain cheese and tomato. So I had my eyes open to this a couple of years ago when Sam was like, just try it plain. Honestly, if you go to a good place and the ingredients are really good, a cheese and tomato pizza is the best. You cannot beat it. Number 14, would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? 
Definitely, and especially since becoming a mum, the superpower to be, in, to be invisible. I would love to be at Jack's nursery and just be invisible. I just watch him playing and yeah, just see what he gets up to. And just, yeah, I'd love to be invisible in other situations. And I don't think I'd actually want at all to be able to read other people's minds. I don't think I'd always want to know what people are thinking. I don't think that sounds very fun. What did you do for your last birthday? I had everyone over to our place and we just had a really chilled afternoon in the garden because I'm a summer birthday, so normally it's quite good weather. So everyone just came over, we had loads of food, loads of drink and good music and just, yeah, hung out. And Jack was basically just being passed around. And yeah, it was really lovely and relaxed. Number 15, if you had one personal selfish wish, what would that be? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe to have like an on-hand babysitter whenever you wanted for like five minutes whilst you like showered and like 15 minutes whilst you like had something to eat just like whenever you wanted you just be like yeah come please and just like have Jack for like five minutes yep 15 minutes <laughs> not realistic at all number 17 if you were a Pokemon what would you be called and what would you look like I don't watch Pokemon I've never seen Pokemon so I don't really know how to answer that question Sorry. Okay, so that was cool. Um, who do I tag now? I tag Donna the London Mum, Emily Norris, Charlotte Taylor, Natasha Bailey, um, Mrs. Meldrum. You guys have probably all been tagged by other people, but I tag yours anyway. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you soon.